Dozens of people gathered in Portsmouth today for a special ceremony to bury the remains of 13 former slaves. Their coffins were discovered back in 2003 when city workers dug up the road during a water project. The spot has now become the new African Burial Ground Memorial Park where the ceremony took place. WMUR's Kriya Sakakini joins us live from Portsmouth with more on what today's ceremony meant for the community. It meant a lot. People came from all over New England for the ceremony and were told that some volunteers kept vigil over the caskets from last night into the morning until those bodies were finally laid to rest. To the beat of West African drums, volunteers brought wooden caskets to a vault in the middle of the new African burial ground Memorial Park. Chestnut Street in Portsmouth was a burial site for African slaves in the 1700s, but had been covered over, and few knew about it until remains were discovered in 2003. Now organizers want to be sure history remembers these people as individuals, not just as slaves. There is no such thing as a slave. That is a job description. They had a rough life being torn away from their, what they knew. But they made a life for themselves here. Chief Oscar McKimmy from Portland, Maine, led the burial ceremony, covering the caskets with earth from Nigeria, Zimbabwe, Guinea, and Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Honoring them instead of paving over them and forgetting them. You know, it's just, it's very touching. Now, Chestnut Street is closed to traffic and has been transformed to a 7,500 square foot commemorative park. The artist who designed it sees this as an important chance to start a new chapter. Portsmouth is doing a very major thing, I, in my estimation, in connecting a lot of the dots and bringing forth the possibility of a dialogue that I believe will make a huge difference. And at least 200 people are still buried under Chestnut Street. The hope is that DNA from the remains that were taken will help shed some light on exactly where in Africa these bodies are from. Reporting live in Portsmouth, Kriya Sakikini, WMUR News 9.